color. <laughs> What you have on these, I have um, just like you know, 25 cents in each. Oh, um, for these the animals, and mm -hmm. I think like a dollar each on those. Well, sure, thank you very much. mind if I popped them down while I keep looking? Oh, Is that okay? Good. I'm getting stuck. There we go. <laughs> dollars if that's okay. It looks good. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you very much.
have a great day. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Yeah. I'm very well, thank you. How much are your boots? Those are 10. 10, okay, awesome, thank yes, you. Okay, awesome, thank you. Have you been busy? I've been busy. That's good. Yesterday was today they don't usually get out on Saturdays till a little later. But yesterday morning from about eight o'clock till about twelve o'clock, I had anywhere from ten to fifteen cars to go. Oh my goodness. Well that's good. It is a lot of work, so are these a women's size? They are. Okay, cool. Very neat. I'm going to give you that for the boots. Thank you very okay. much. Have a good day. Thank you. How much is this? It's got 25 on that. 25. That's iron. That's cool. Yeah, they're nice. They're heavy. If you ever hit anybody with them, you're going to get damaged. Oh, I bet. He's still got the pump. And the oh, wow. Now, this actually works. This Does is it? This is functional. It's not just a notary piece. Gotcha. Uh, and then the seat was made um, by... My grand, I guess like a grandfather's something or another cast oh, and wow. And we've tried to keep it painted. Probably wouldn't look better if we just not tried to keep it yeah, painted. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. So that it looked like what it was supposed to. Very cool. I have never seen those when I've been out at yard sales though. So. He had a whole bunch of it and we got rid of a majority of it at last year's yeah and he kept these two pieces because he wasn't sure he wanted to turn loose of them gotcha and then this year he said no go ahead and turn loose of them he said he's trying to clean his garage out so that he can actually put something in yes <laughs> yes so oh goodness that's kind of where we ended up with that i gotcha thank you very much have a lovely day you too oh again can i check how much you wanted on the water pump on the water pump yeah. he has a hundred on the hundred on that one okay cool if he wants both pieces yeah i'd give them to him for a hundred even for a hundred even okay if he wants both, just because somebody actually interested in them for more <laughs> than just something to hang on yes on. yeah so that's kind of oh, but yeah cool it, it does work uh-huh it has all your mechanisms yeah you know, hook it up to a and so like 
we had it at our lake house and we had it in my garden bed yeah and then uh we had it up to where you could pump it and get the water out yeah or he had a little lever he could flip and it would just gotcha oh okay yeah so that's what we that's the last time we used it that's neat so it it does work all right that's cool but now they're both as you can feel they're heavy they're yeah solid, so no kidding yeah they were they're come out of those cast irons like that yeah as long as you don't swing them at anybody you'll do okay <laughs> <laughs> yes for sure all right i'm gonna i'm gonna grab this for 25 for sure and then i'm gonna let him know okay so the if you price. come back and i'm not here let yeah. my husband know this is only 75 because i told you you can have both all right thank you i really appreciate I'm that i'm usually thank out you. here but my mom's next door and she has some issues so i sometimes have to run over there i understand i appreciate that very much thank, thank you, you. All right, I'll see what he says. Right. <laughs> Thanks. All right, you guys, welcome to the hall where I show you what I picked up at today's yard sale. So let's start over here. I think these I paid $10 for, which is more than I would usually pay. Let me check out the brand right quick. Okay, so the brand is JB Dillon. And um, I have sold these before, and these are actually genuine goat leather. Um, <laughs> if that's what you're looking for. And they do have a very specific design. If they were plainer, I would not have paid $10 for these, but because they have all the cross design and all of this um, really amazing, I, I guess there's like wings, there's more crosses on the front, just really nice contrast with the black and the white. Um, I think I can get at least $50 for these boots, if not maybe a little bit more, we'll see, but enough that I figured that $10 was worth investing in them. And then this was absolutely me going out on a limb. So this thing is solid, let me tell you, very heavy going to be interesting to ship although it's quite short so I'm hoping I can get away with dimensions and it's not too expensive I'll be very careful with this to make sure that I take my measurements and my postal weight very carefully so I don't end up losing money on the shipping um, but I saw a range in these I saw one go for $48 and then I saw one go I think for like $70, $80 and then one go for like $120 um, so I decided to give a chance basically I paid $25 for this um, obviously this is a, a John Deere piece I, I'm guessing like a tractor seat or something along those lines and uh, hopefully it'll be a decent flip into some profit all right and then the last few items um so i think i paid i paid a dollar for all three of the plush i think this guy i actually stopped and looked up he's a little pot belly koala he does need some cleaning down here but all of that should come off easily from 1979 decor i think is what it says and um, he had some pretty decent comps there one i think had gone for around 35 or so this i could not find exact comps on but i did look at similar ones by manhattan and toy company vintage ones specifically tell me if you agree with me where you kind of put your pajamas and stuff inside of it to make it like plush out the body at least that's what i assume it is there's a sheep but without the sort of uh flat body where you can fill it or whatever that i think is listed for around 50 by this company again for like 25 cents or so i figured i would give this one a try and then for again around that 25 cents to 30 cents or so is this cat needs a clean as well but this one is from the 90s nick and noel and it's a toys r us exclusive some of the toys of us exclusive toys and plushes can do really really well again this has some decent listings i don't think i could find any sold necessarily but when cost of goods is so low it's worth taking a chance all right we have one panasonic digital radio obviously vintage as well fully working paid a dollar for this and then i paid a dollar for this as well and this is one of my favorite finds just because i love it <laughs> What can I say? Um, so this is an original Girl Talk Teen Dreams Clock Radio Telephone. So I do not have the original like phone cord, unfortunately, to be able to test this actual phone out. So I'll have to sell that part untested. But the clock radio itself does in fact work. Um, so I can show that in my listing. And the only other one I saw listed, I think, was around $50. So I'm probably going to shoot around there, if not a little bit higher. Because this seems to be kind of rare. There is not a lot out there listed or sold. All right, you guys. Thank you for coming along with me to today's yard sales if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new here and you like thrifting and yard sailing and flipping stuff online for a profit then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you can come back and yard sell with me some more as always if you're looking for a friendly facebook group don't forget to check out mine down in the description box thrift nice and lastly if you're looking for any fun reseller or thrifting themed merchandise then you can check out my teespring store down below in the description as well all right you guys i will catch you in the next one bye